Greetings humans, the Spinning Man is here with the next episode of the Long Dark Challenge Mode Nomad. Thanks for joining me. We are up on Timberwolf Mountain. Pretty heavily laden, but we're ready to go. Yeah, there's nothing else that we really need. It's about as fast as we can move. We are gonna try, since we got energy, Yada yada yada, we're going to try to get down the mountain at least. To the cabin. Draft Dodger's cabin. Three hours. Maybe we can even make it. Nah, we're not going to be able to make it to... Well, if it's a nice night out, we got lots of energy, we can... Kind of trek on over. to the store, which is our next home, away from home. Temp is fine. Yeah, we're back at 100, which is good. Which is good. Rabbits in the wreckage. Mr. Bun Bun. That would actually be a cool mod if, uh, by some strange chance, a dev ever checks this out or someone wants to post it on the boards. Um, maybe one of those new perks. You could add one, which is like. animal tamer or like individual things like if you after you've encountered you know after you've come within whatever 20 feet of a thousand rabbits you have the ability to approach them they will run away something like that Just be novel. The other thing I was thinking that would be really cool is this game, but on a tropical island. Something like Tahiti, maybe. Same engine. Obviously, you're not dealing with the colds, but instead, maybe you'd have to deal with <coughs> the heat in special ways, and it might be much harder to get water. Um, obviously, different wildlife and different flora, but. I'd love to play a tropical version of the Long Dark. Oh, we're making okay progress. This is not horrible speed for carrying 107 pounds worth of stuff. Someone outside. 
in the house. One of the neighbors have got like a, uh, a deck that's about 10 foot high off the ground. So like a raised deck behind my place, all the units do where I live. So they're uh, townhouses, so that means uh, not like condos, but uh, I guess what makes a townhouse a townhouse is the uh, they don't share a roof line, so they all have different like unique roofs, and they just kind of share a firewall in between. It's kind of a common thing in Europe. Uh, just sort of have like a row building, but then or like a brownstone in New York or something like that. Anyway, it's not a brownstone, but but just the idea of sort of like full homes, but I guess brownstones technically are more condos because they share a roof. Anyway, but there's like 120 units roughly, and there's about 12 different floor plans out of those units, so it's fairly varied. But we all got decks. My, uh, my side of the road is the one, the only one that has the 10 foot tall decks, though. And, uh, the only one that has basements, which is very nice. So we got like 1,800 square feet, including the basement. That said, I'm actually looking looking at houses this weekend. Place suitable for a small farm with goats. Because goats are adorable. If you haven't watched any of my cute baby goat videos uh, you really should they're real short like none of them are longer than a minute or a minute and a half uh, most of them are just only like 20 30 seconds but yeah so we still own the girl goat from those videos and her mom and they're staying on the farm where they were raised for the time being we get like milk every week though every Sunday alright this is quite pretty I'm loving it All right, should probably get out. That is some harsh weather, so we'll just go to the. Uh, there's a cabin. That's not. All oh, right. Did I get all confoozled? Did I get all confoozled? Yeah, How much time I got time. left? One hour, yeah, we're just gonna have to crash out and uh zip my gash. I was thinking about a different area, I was thinking about Skeeter's Rage. Um Well Seems like it's chilling out. I don't know. Just go out to the road and follow the road. It's 
basically all we have to do, as long as we're not freezing. So this to the point of disagreement. And then we shall move on. It can be wolves. Definitely tussled with wolves here before. Can actually go around this way. We'll eventually lead back to the road. Plenty of those. Birds be noisy. I just want to get to the road. Yeah, the temp is stable. Temp is stable enough. Right, okay, so that's the point of disagreement right there. Wow, it is pretty dark. Yeah, because there's pretty, you know, somewhat heavy clouds. Alright, well, it's clear. Yeah. Just gonna follow us all the way around. It's gonna take a hot second. If the weather turns bad, this will have been a very bad idea. But you know, we're being nomads. Speaking of nomads, gypsies can be considered nomads. Uh, there is a cool TV show called Peaky Blinders um, available on Netflix. I think it's a Netflix original series. Uh, that show. Is excellent. It's intense. It's violent. It's basically old-timey British Sopranos. It's about a crime family, and they are they are of gypsy heritage. are kind of scary. I don't know why my eyes are just not adjusting to this light very well. I have a light on in the room, and that's actually casting a really bright glare. There eventually. We'll get there eventually. It's often brighter than this at, at night. It's like 
cloud cover though. Yeah, I could like walk on to some It's like a lake and I wouldn't even know it really. But onward. Onward we go. the road remains like super obvious. I think over there is maybe like a, the burn down. A village or something. Please, moon stars. Interesting. This is the derelict cabins. Huh. I thought the road actually was to the right of these things. The main road. I think it leads around anyway. Did I mention that it was dark? I really don't know how much help the <coughs> flare is going to be, though. Alright, this seems to be the correct path. about the noise, but I see got a little bit of light here now. I'm tired, super tired. Well, not super tired, but quite tired. Alright. Hoping to see a landmark of some sort. For too long. I 
think I know where we are. Vaguely. Imagine trying to drive on a road like that. <gasps> Shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Was, was like going. Oh, this looks much more like a road road. So it came from up there. So I'm gonna say this might be the way. Could be totally wrong. This way. Just give me one second. I'm going to actually just try to orient myself with the map. That's the end of the road, and then bear left after the car, and just keep going. Benefit of the viewer. This doesn't really help me that much, but yeah, 
imagine looks so different out here at night. Nine hours of darkness left. To the Ichabod Crane. Some sort of headless horseman is going to come out for me. And then at the end of this road, it's just going to kind of sharply turn right, and the town will be there. Sometimes you gotta mix it up. And go on a very long, long hike in the dark. Why is he whining? Is that the rare interaction where he can run away? I would love to see how that went down in like observer mode. So the store has he just been following me? Here he comes. Here he comes. WTF. I just... Now I'm gonna look. Not even gonna look. Store should be here. How that went down like that, I have no idea. I have no idea why the wolf didn't attack me. That is crazy balls. Total crazy balls. All right, let's take a look. Make sure we're in the right place. Yes, the rural store. So we will be spending the next three days or so in here. Let's see what sort of bounty there is for us. I really like how they changed Crouch to be depressed right for stick anything. for the Xbox. That's it's very handy. Used to be one of the buttons like Y or B or something. Right. 
seems to be all for this front room. Got quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit. This is a little crappy little back room. See some mm, painkillers. Wow, nothing in any of them. That is a little surprising. All right, we're just going to put that down there. This is going to be our home for the next three days, basically. All right, let's just go ahead and show what needs stowing. Basically, heavy canned food. All this very fresh, fresh meat. Yeah, we actually had a lot of food with us. That's nice. It's a pretty big locker. Pretty big. That's fine for now. All right, next one will be stuff. Stuff we don't necessarily need to be carrying around every minute for the next three days all right seems legit Ah, yes. All right, let's lay this stuff out. Let's get it curing. I guess this will go out here. So. 36. Yes. Fifty-six. Mr. Forty Two Wolf All right, that is looking like some clothes in the near future anyway that is a good place for us to end this episode i'm so glad that you could join me uh, if you enjoyed these videos it makes me super happy when you like and subscribe and uh tell a friend <laughs> hope you join me next time that's gonna be all for now spinning matches out namaste